Okay, welcome everybody uh, to the uh, presentation today. We are going to talk about selling creative, crazy, um, and uh, regional items on uh, eBay. Uh, so this is uh, uh, this is getting into uh, you know this will be one where we're talking about handling products, but uh, um, getting into products that can can be accessed in your region or area that might be valuable to you. So um, on the screen here, you see some uh, um, rocks with uh, uh, with words on them. And uh, I looked this up on eBay here. Um, I looked up, uh, I think I was searching Zen rocks or something like that. Because uh, this is one I looked at uh, last week. And uh, was uh, was one thought that I had. You know, there are a lot of people selling rocks online. In fact, look at this: 151 of these items have uh, have sold. And they, you can choose whether you want a harmony rock on black or natural, faith on black or natural, friend, happiness, um, and then strength and love. So these are all uh, you know different uh, variations and things. Um, how often do they sell? We can look at that here. Uh, not uh, incredibly often, but uh, they've sold uh, quite a few of them. Uh, this is from New Jersey, so I've got to wonder if this person is, because uh, um, it's going to, you know, especially with shipping costs going up, uh, it's it's going to cost uh, um, close to three bucks to ship that. So this is an item where they're only making. Uh, 50 cents or so. So I'm wondering if uh, this is more of a loss leader kind of an item where they're looking to gather information or if they have some kind of a a cheaper shipping option perhaps that I'm not aware of. But first class shipping is how a lot of this would have to be sold. But they do have a lot of small items as we look at the things that they are doing here. Uh, some tumbled stones. Some... So they're, they're doing a little bit of everything. So they've got a smattering of, um, of items out there that they do. Uh, a number of different things. Now there's an interesting idea right there. And this is something I, I want you guys to, to kind of think about. As you get out here doing this research, uh, you know, something I'm going to talk a little bit here. Get up on my soap soapbox. Let's, let's, let's go find my soapbox and stand up on it. Uh, one of the things I've found as I have uh, worked this business for many years is some of the most valuable things to me that uh, that I am making money with are items that I just kind of fell into. Uh, I found because I was looking outside the box for something creative. That, that's how I found a lot of the, the most valuable things. Uh, uh, and that's how I come up with my own uh, product inventions and stuff too. I, I have another one that I'm I'm just barely starting on. I've got the idea, uh, and uh, I I just uh, talked earlier today uh, with a friend of mine who has some uh, sources to help me bring it together, and I'm going to partner with him on it. Uh, but uh, these ideas come because number one, I don't accept limitations. I believe that I can do anything that anybody else can do. And I think that's important for all of us to, to recognize. But also, I, I look for solutions of any kind. And so here we are, you know, I did a, a search uh, for Zen Rocks, found some things that aren't necessarily, you know, real value. I mean, this, you know, buck fifty, two fifty. they've got shipping on that one at least. But still, I mean, what are you making, a buck or two on the on, uh, each sell, you know, a dollar, maybe 50 cents on a sell like this. It just, it isn't a lot of money, right? But allowing myself to think about just the, the general search on something like this brings me into other possible ideas. Now, what about these little things? So is that something that I could access? And you could definitely ship that for four bucks. Is that something that I could get a hold of and be able to uh, to market you know that's something that maybe uh, i could get from a, a chinese supplier there's probably somebody already importing these uh i could get them from an importer right here in the the united states right uh, 
these little things, you know, I don't even know what those wristbands are, but the same kind of thing there. But then as we scroll down and I saw this and I thought, huh, you know, that is an interesting idea. Again, they're covering their shipping costs. That'll ship first class. Eight ninety five. dollars now, all right, now we're not talking about a dollar or two a piece with shipping covered. Looking at eight bucks there, you know, if uh, if we've got less than two or three in materials, that's kind of a, a an interesting idea right there. You know, there's there's some potential on that 50 milliliter bottle, four and a quarter inches high. So this is not a tall bottle. This is a tiny little bottle, right? Um, selling it as a, a, a little gift or or favor. This one's only six and a half inches. So this one's smaller, has free shipping on it. They've sold seven of those. Uh, if we come back and look at this one, uh, 55 of those, holy cow. I mean, that's that's uh, quite a few. Now, it doesn't look like a lot recently, which is interesting. But now I could take this uh, right here and I could search just that and see, well, how many are are there out there? Oh, there's 2,800 related to that. Some of them are, are DVDs and, and stuff, but some of them are other items um, that are selling there. And uh, there's a lot of different things here. Now, a lot of these are from China. I want to look at things just from the U.S., so I'll change that. So we're looking at 2,000, and some of them are these little bodies, or bottles, actual bottles that people are listing all right so let's look at sold listings so if you if you if you're catching what's happening here i'm kind of uh, going down the rabbit hole right i i took one idea and i'm continuing to look for possible uh, uh items that that come up uh, that aren't necessarily related just to that idea but other possible ideas that come up so 323 that relate Authentic origami owl, your choice of charms, hobbies, drinks, and food. These are just charms, okay? Things that you can buy for pennies um, from China, sell them for three sixty-five a piece with shipping covered. Uh, here are some little bottles, twenty little plastic bottles and corks for message in a bottle invitations. If you want to create a, a party invitation, you know, and put a message in a bottle to send it out. Uh, well, they've sold two lots of those, 27 bucks. All right. You know, not bad. Again, these uh, these are cheap little bottles that you can uh, get inexpensive from uh, wholesalers and uh, importers and whatnot. Uh, might even find something like that uh, available in a drop ship uh, option. A lot of 12 party invitation message in a bottle. Luau, so they've got different pieces they're putting together there um, for it. Uh, here's uh, another one right there. Um, wall decor, that's a print. Um, there's one, $15 that uh, sold. Here's a little one for 250 Fairy Garden message in a bottle. Cute. How many of those have they sold? Four sold on that one. Oh, and look at that. If we go in there, then we see other items related to that. Okay. Now, again, this is one of those areas where one idea blossoms into many other uh, ideas. And uh, I go down, down the rabbit hole. Okay. So I have a... Um, a list of creative ideas that I'm cre keeping here to look at items that I have either sold or that I think might be uh, worth selling. So I like this message in a bottle idea. So I'm going to put that uh, right here and uh, that could sell for as much as 15. I'm going to put it at $10 uh, as a possibility. And uh, there are plenty of lower ones selling as well. But uh, what it's also taking me into now is this fairy garden idea. Okay, so I could do a search now on fairy garden uh, items and uh, um, find out what fairy garden related items there are. Um, and we can look at those items. So let's go take a little gander here at this. Uh, I like the looks of that price point a little better. Uh, I'm not seeing uh, 
uh, any sales history on that, but uh, there's a couple more that are featured, available, but not necessarily sold. So what I'm going to do is do a new search here. I'm going to actually go back to this screen. Let's just finish scrolling through here and see what else there is here. Valentine's Day message in a bottle for the one that holds the key to your heart. That's very interesting. Ten bucks, six seventy shipping. Probably way more than it actually costs. Um, let's go see the original item there. Uh, okay, so they sold the one ten dollars. They did it at an auction style. Um, forever hold the key to my heart, and it's <laughs> it's just a, a little key a little tiny bottle i mean this is a a teeny little um bottle there with some looks like some sand in it uh, a a little tied up uh, um message and a little ribbon 10 bucks cool so anyway we uh, as we scroll down we see other here's some uh, 50 pieces of message in a bottle capsule um letter cute friendship so um I'm not sure if that's something you open up or not. Let's go look at it. 50 little capsules. They sold three of them. There are a whole bunch of other ones selling uh, um, across the board from China. And notice this. 87 cents, 88 cents, most uh, most likely from China, but somebody sold three of them for seven bucks. It doesn't matter if there are cheaper ones out there. You can still sell uh, something for a higher price. You know, There's somebody listing it for 14.39. And that's interesting. All right. So what is this? Uh, color pill, description, novelty pill, capsule design, very size, a blank piece of paper inside the pill. You can write whatever you would like on it. It's just, it's a pill <laughs> with a piece of paper in it that you can write on. Uh, I mean, the silliest things, right? All right, right, we'll scroll down a little bit more, and then we're going to put in uh, there's some more charms being sold. Uh, there's uh, some more of the little capsule things. Um, now, that's interesting. This one uh, is just clear capsules, uh, 100 pieces, sold two of them for six sixty-five. They'll They'll ship for two and a half bucks. There's 20 plastic bottles and corks for message in a bottle invitations, $29. And they're just empty, right? Personalized message in a bottle, hundred bucks. That's uh, a little crazy there. One sold. What are they saying here? Uh, I wonder if they changed the uh, the price on that. Yeah, thirty-five bucks. So they increased the price probably because they're. They want to keep it up, but they don't actually have it in stock right now. There's the eight ninety five. Here's a three dollar one with five bucks shipping. So an interesting idea, and you could probably even take uh, multiple. You know, you could take any recycled bottle if you wanted to, and, and do stuff like this. There's another one with uh, multiples for people to do parchment uh, pieces of paper. Uh, so, you know, if you live near a beach or something, you can collect sand and you can get a bunch of these cheap bottles and, and throw them in there with a little piece of paper and, and let people write their own message. Um, little pebbles, uh, there's some, some serious potential and possibilities there. Here's one. They've sold four of these, 20 of these, uh, um, glass bottles, uh, let's go down and look, uh, uh, beach theme bottle invitation in a glass bottle with natural starfish glass kit includes bottle cork sand natural seashells natural ribbon age styled paper mailing labels and some accessories to use for assembly that's it so interesting uh you know there's 71 bucks <laughs> right so again not what i was initially looking for necessarily but uh uh something that that might have some potential and one thing i mentioned in the last um, webinar is if you can find a dozen of these types of items 
then even if uh, if you know the one isn't selling constantly, if you've got uh, many different things that are creative like this that start selling, well, you can see the potential there, right? Heart-shaped bottle, that's something you could probably find through uh, Chinese or, or overseas distributor. All right, so let's pop back up to the top here and look at this other idea that I just had come to mind, fairy garden uh, ideas and stuff. Now this brings me to uh, another one that I wanted to to share with you uh, that isn't necessarily something that everybody would do, but uh, that reminds me of it. Uh, so there's there are all kinds of little figurines and things that you can find. Now again, something like this, you go to, um, oh, I don't want to use that one. Let's see. Uh, we go to AliExpress. Um, mini figurine. All right, so here's a little stone bridge figurine, mini resin crafts fairy garden, right? Well, that is something that uh, we could do. As far as message in a bottle, well, there's some little miniature wine bottles, miniature cats, um, a little uh, 100 pieces of fairy garden miniatures, resin crafts, you know, again, all these fairy garden items, um, 67 cents for a hundred pieces of these little things. Um, this one has uh, five um, pieces of it per lot. Uh, three, five. So there's all these little things and you, know, you could take something like uh, like these uh, these little decorations and and then sell those uh, over on eBay. So let's take this one, for example, if we were to get 100 pieces of that that ship free, and this seller might have other similar items that uh, they'll do as well. So what is this? Uh, decorate, great decorations for your terrariums and fairy gardens that can be used to make micro gardens. Uh, oh, okay, this is, these are the little, uh, uh, that's interesting. So that was a little misleading. It's the, the pins, it's a little plastic, uh, pins that they're selling, not the actual decoration. Um, fixed pin. Okay, so they're they're selling the pins. All right, so not, uh, but still, you know, if we take, uh, so five of these little pieces here, you could probably sell those five for, you know, 10, 15 bucks over here, 11 bucks for, for this one little one, right? Miniature glasses. So there's all these fairy garden. Fairy garden uh, stuff is is all the rage right now. A lot of people doing that. 4,261 sold items under fairy garden uh, on eBay, and that's in the U.S. These are all, I believe, I had that checked, right? Yeah, U.S. only items. So these are things that have sold within the U.S. You know, there's a little bridge right there. This little troll. I love that. We could search for that over here. Let's see if we can find. Uh, I'm not seeing it, but uh, uh, let's do uh, Fairy Garden. All kinds of little things here, right? So even something like that, uh, you know, if you buy it for three seventy-five and um, we sell it for eight or ten bucks or something, uh, a little house there. There was uh, here's this one, you know, that sold a little Hobbit house for sixteen bucks. So I I find that very uh, very interesting and and fun kind of stuff you know creative uh, little trees all kinds of stuff so again how did we start this uh, we came in from the idea of just um, Zen rocks was my initial search and I just let it lead me where it will okay now this. This type of thing, what I'm showing you today, this research is something that you would do um, to find possible items that uh, you might um, want to list and, and get a list of some of these ideas like I've done here, um, building this uh, fairy garden uh, figure um, figurines, okay? Uh, and it could be as much as, uh, you know, 10, maybe $15 a piece. Uh, and I, I just... You know, watch where it, where it led me. The other thing I wanted to share with you here today was just a little bit of what I see 
uh, as potential myself. Now, uh, and again, this isn't something that uh, I expect all you guys to do necessarily or that, uh, that all of you will have access to, but I bought a 3D printer a uh, oh, year, year and a half ago um, for my business to uh, print prototypes and stuff. And 3D printers are becoming uh, uh, more common and uh, inexpensive. 3D printers, engravers, laser engravers. I heard somebody uh, was telling me the other day their brother bought a laser, a desktop laser engraver for 60 bucks. And something like that, you can engrave your own items. You can create your own items. So that's something I thought of with um, with my 3D printers. Maybe I ought to you know, start doing something with that. Um, is there anybody selling um, 3D printed? Um, let's see, 3D printed items related to Fairy Garden? No, but if we get rid of Fairy Garden and look at 3D printed, 10,336 items related to 3D printed items that people are selling. Okay, uh, all kinds of different. Uh, um, stuff here that i mean it's crazy what you can what you can do with it so i thought you know this is something that you know, i've got the printer i don't use it all that often i might as well keep it running and and be selling things you know here's these little tiny tanks that i could uh, and and you can find the files for printing these i don't have to design them um, the files are available online i can find the files and and print something like that and you know it's it's almost like printing my own money right and I saw some pretty uh, crazy stuff. This there's uh, <laughs> interesting. Um, I've seen some at, at pretty uh, uh, crazy high prices, uh, actually. Um, and I'm not seeing one. There's one that, that's kind of cool. So and and when you're doing a 3D print, oh, and actually the one below it, you know, this uh, it's your own artwork. So even if it's a snitch like that, I mean that. I'm sure I could find the um, the file for that online just by doing a search on a 3D print website and be able to um, get the file and, and be able to print that myself. So, okay. Uh, and then another one that I saw that kind of blew me away right here. Look at that. 120 bucks for a 3D printed model. <laughs> so there's all kinds of things like that. And so I, I think about that, and this is one I'd like to do, you know, 3D Moon. Uh, there's a printer you can buy for $439. And so take what I have and, you know, put it into um, value. Now, I think I kind of derailed from my original thought here. I was thinking of uh, <laughs> talking about um, regional items, and that's something I think I'll get into uh, in the next uh, uh, webinar. I'm going to keep these kind of short. So the next one, we might talk about that and go into things, you know, what do you have in your area? So be thinking about that and come back to me next week with a list of possibilities, you know, look around you, see what you have uh, access to that in other parts of the world or country they may not have. Uh, because I guarantee you, you're going to find something that you can sell that somebody else wants and they can't get it locally. But if you have access to it, that's something you can make a, a profit center for you. So, uh, all right, that's, uh, I didn't see any uh, comments or questions come in, so we're gonna end with that uh, here today. Um, join me next week and we'll actually get into some regional ideas.